two, three. All right. Let's see how this uh, works out. I am trying a new setup today. So hopefully this sounds pretty decent. Oh, let's make that. <sighs> So let's hope this uh, sounds pretty good. That sounds pretty good. I don't even know where I'm going to ride to. I'm just going to kind of ride, check out the quality, see, uh, see if this is a viable option for motorblock. And uh, we'll see what happens. But uh, as you guys can't tell, I have a brand new 2005 ZX6R 636. In my opinion, this is the best 600 class motorcycle ever made to date and I am 100% hella fucking biased because I love this fucking bike I love everything about it it's just fucking amazing dude. Um, I actually had a 2005 same exact model uh, in red orange red whatever color was uh, I'll throw a screenshot up uh, and show you guys and uh, I actually looped that doing a power wheelie in first gear, ended up looping it, and it ended up totaling it out. So then I got stuck with a Grom, which I would throw up here. Um, that was an awesome little bike. Uh, blew the engine on that doing wheelie because I'm a fucking idiot, apparently. Um, I'm gonna stick here. Okay. Seven, eight, nine fucking gears. But yeah, I did that, um, and that was fun. Um, what was I saying? Oh yeah, blew the, blew the engine in the ground, doing too many fucking wheelies, and uh, starving the engine of oil. Uh, because apparently the grounds are notorious for that. Actually, it was kind of my fault, um, because I really didn't change the oil on the ground. I didn't even do one oil change, I run it for like 4,000 miles. Um, which is stupid. Don't, guys, change your fucking oil. Um, actually, my next check, I'm changing the oil on this, and I haven't even had it for a thousand miles. Um, that's just because I want to make sure that the oil is good. Um, I know the dude said he changed it. Um, and looking at the oil, it looks it looks pretty clean, actually. It still looks new. And, um, yeah, I just, I just want a peace of mind because this bike is, I've literally wanted this bike since the day that Progressive took my other ZX6, which was a very sad day for me. Very sad day. Uh, I actually had an extremely hard time letting that bike go. Um, uh, I cried about it. Literally, I'm not joking. I literally fucking cried about it. Um, you can ask my good buddy Logan, my good buddy Jake. I fucking cried about that bike. <clears throat> and, uh, yeah, so then was the Grom. Great fucking little bike. Um, I actually want another one of those. I'll probably end up getting a Z, just because they're easier to wheelie. God damn, I thought that was cut light. Um, and yeah. <laughs> fucking gorgeous. Oh, shit. <laughs> There's a cop behind me. So yeah, man, I, um, uh, after the, uh, the Grom, I actually had a, a 250, CBR 250R, and, um, that actually fell over onto the frame, and it ended up denting the, uh, the frame, and, uh, totaled that bike out, too. And then, uh, I went all the way to Georgia to pick this, this girl up right here. And, uh, best decision I ever made. 
I've had this bike literally less than a week, and I fucking love it. Love everything about it. This cop is on my left. So, uh, am I recording? Yep, I am. Not try to race. Actually, I'm probably gonna take the next. Uh... Oh, it's a girl. It's a woman cop. But uh, yeah, she is sexy, man. Got a free sex juice sticker and a uh, free chill keychain. Along with the bike, it's always nice. Baker X, I love you. You're my dog. And uh, one thing I love about this bike is they get really hot on the on the right side, which. Feels so good. Feels so fucking good. This cop's probably looking at me like, what the fuck? That's okay. It's actually fucking freezing right now. It's fucking freezing my ass off. This is so funny that I'm next to a cop. Like, <laughs> this is insane. It is 2.22 a.m. Um, I actually got really pissed off at work today. For a reason. Um... Yeah, uh, <laughs> Should we race this fucking cop, y'all? Should I just, like, take off at, like, 160? Fucking okay. no! I feel like I should. I mean, they're community service. What are they gonna do? <laughs> My luck, they'll fucking throw me in jail. Oh, so let's talk about the ticket that I received. <laughs> and next to a fucking cop. But, um, so yeah, so I got a ticket the other day. I was in Clay County. Um, I was with a bunch of other riders. And, uh, thank God I was with a bunch of other riders because, um, there were so many of us that they decided that they would just get tickets instead of tow us and shit. Um, for those of you who don't know, um, I live in Florida, in Jacksonville, Florida, and there's a bike shop called 904 Performance. Uh, who hosts uh, Wheelie Wednesdays every first Wednesday of the month, uh, which is pretty pretty dope. Um, it's really cool. A bunch of people show up, and uh, actually, uh, this 25th of uh, October was the Halloween ride. Lots of people showed up. It was amazing. It was absolutely amazing. Um, uh, we had actually just uh, eaten, and we were on our way home. And um, me and, like, six other people got pulled over. Um, me and a few other friends. Um, uh, some some idiots on 1,000 um, were doing some wheelies and shit next to us. And uh, I think two or three of them actually, uh, actually took off and... Um, so I, I was thinking, you know, I only saw one cop light, you know, and, and the dude fucking took off on his 1,000, you know. Um, so the cop flies past us. Next thing I know, there's four fucking cops behind us with our lights on, and it's just insane. I didn't have it on GoPro, unfortunately. I wasn't recording. The whole time I thought I was recording, but it uh, turns out that I wasn't, that my GoPro was actually off. Uh, which is I, was just crazy because I thought it was dead, but it actually wasn't. It was actually fully three three bars on the battery um this light's never gonna fucking change for me but um yeah so we end up getting pulled over you know we all get questioned and third or 
none of us got searched, but um, we all got questioned and shit, and um, yeah, we all got handed fucking tickets. I think like two of us didn't actually get any tickets. I think that was uh, Jason, one other person, and um, they actually gave me a ticket for not having any registration on the bike, which is crazy to me because uh, the day before is the day that I actually brought the bike home, and it was like 6, 7 o'clock when I got, okay, so I'm just going to go back. Um, I bought this bike in Forsyth, Georgia, so that's like 300 miles away from where I live. Went all the way there, brought it back, and couldn't get to the DMV because it was already like 6, 7 o'clock when we got back. Um, which, what can you do, right? We didn't have a trailer, so I just rode it back. Uh, surprisingly, with all the Georgia cops and how strict fucking Georgia is, I didn't get pulled over not one time for not having a tag. Um, which is crazy because I passed like at least 20 cop cars, maybe even more on, on 75. I mean, it was just loaded that day. So, uh, yeah, man. And um, so we bring it down, and um, everything goes fine the first day. The next day is the Wheelie Wednesday ride. You know, we do our thing. You know, we do the ride, eat. You know, we're on our way home, me and, like, six other people. And we all get fucking pulled over. And the dude hits me with a unregistered vehicle ticket. Um, they actually set up with a quote-unquote criminal offense, uh, apparently. And this is Clay County, by the way. Clay County cops are fucking dick, bro. They ain't got shit to do but just, you know, they're late. Like, they don't do shit, you know? So, I mean, what, what better are they going to do when they see 20 bikes? Oh, yeah, let's fucking, let's go, man. Yeah. They've been waiting for that fucking moment. Um, but yeah, so, I mean, to, to be fair, the cops were cool, but, I mean, they could have let me off. They could have said, okay, you just got the bike, there's trash all over the fucking road, come on, get find the fuckers that are doing this. But, you know, I had the bill of sale, I had the title, and... You know, proof that I just bought the bike, you know, yesterday. As in, it's one day, yesterday I bought the bike, you know. So the next day I get it registered and everything. And, um, which is actually yesterday. Yesterday I got the bike registered. Um, and the day before was the ticket, the day before I got the bike. So this is day number four with the bike. Um, there's a railroad here and I can't see it. Let's jump it. That was fucking scary. <laughs> that was really fucking scary, actually. Because like, cause my vines just all fogged up and I can't see shit. But, uh, yeah, so they told me it's a criminal offense and now I have to go to court. There's no fine as of yet to pay. Whoa, sketch. Um, there's no fine as of yet to pay. Um, uh, but hopefully, um... Jason, Jason told me that uh, it would most likely get it would most likely get thrown out. So hopefully that's the case, and it does in fact get thrown out because that would fucking suck to have. I mean, really, you're, you're gonna take me the day after? I mean, come on. So get this. I even looked it up in you know, online or whatever, and there's a 30-day grace period that I have to get, you know, the bike registered and tagged and if it was a car, insurance and all that. And even the DMV people said, yeah, they shouldn't have taken it you. So, of course, I'm going to take it to court and see what happens. But right now...
I want to do that for a fucking minute now. <laughs> but we should probably get out of here. Cause I don't know if there's fucking cops behind me or whatnot, but we should probably we should probably take it easy and get out of here pretty quick. But yeah, guys. So that's the first photo vlog. Hopefully the uh, the Cine audio is pretty good. Uh, I have no idea what it sounds like actually. So who knows? Might be good. Might be bad. See what happens. And uh, hopefully I don't get arrested for doing 160 and a fucking 55, I think is what it is. So, 105 over oh, I love this fucking bike, man. I fucking love it. There is, there is nothing I wouldn't fucking give to keep this bike and maintain it as a child. Um, her name is Oliver, by the way. I say her. I don't want to assume it's gender. In fact, it is a genderless dolphin, is what it uh, identifies as, so. My bike is a genderless dolphin! Yay! I love dolphins. I'd fuck one if I fucking wanted this. And people who know me know that's not a fucking joke. <laughs> oh god, I'm gonna get roasted in the comments. I'm gonna get roasted in the fucking comments! I already know. That's alright though. Fuck at 3 a.m. And, uh, yeah, as far as... Oh, one more thing. Um, YouTube with the whole, um, advertisements and shit, I don't, I don't care, honestly. Um, for my channel personally, I don't do YouTube to make money. Uh, I only have, like, 130 subs-ish. So I don't, I don't really do YouTube for money at all. So, I'm not going to censor myself, man. Um, people who know who I am know that I'm a wild fucking specimen of the earth, and that when it comes to censoring myself, that shit just doesn't exist. I, what is censoring? Like, that shit just doesn't fucking exist. But, uh, yeah, we're just, um, yeah, first photo vlog, I guess. <laughs> Oh, I gotta get better at these. Um, I say um a lot for some reason. Um, 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 it's um, dad, um, dad. That's, that's full, that's full throttle. Still more pull than my 250. <laughs> that's for sure. And that's six gear. Woo! So yeah, hopefully one day I'll um, show you guys a video of taking her to her true top speed, which is about 170. Um, I could have kept going, but you never know if there's tops or not. And I, I really don't want to top speed in, at, at night because you just don't know. Is that a cop? Um, that's a fucking train, though. Um, like I said, I don't want to top speed at night because it's just, it's too sketchy. You don't, can't really see the road that well. Um, at 150 plus, shit's moving so quick, man. You gotta, you really gotta be on your toes. And, you know, see what, you know, you really gotta just be able to see far, far ahead. Cause you're moving at, you know, at such a high rate of speed. And, um, I also gotta be on the lookout for cops as well. Man, some if I'm next year for doing 170, I'm probably going to jail, and I'm probably losing my military contract, um, which would really fucking suck. So, to be honest with you, if a cop set me up and <laughs> do what I just did, I'd probably fucking run. I, I would probably run, to be honest. Um, there's not too many inst instances where I would run, but, like, if I got caught fucking doing 170, you know, and a few fucking wheelies, bro, I'd, I'd probably dip the fuck out of there. Just, just because, you know, the, the alternative, you know, getting pulled over and that fucking ticket, man. <sighs> I, I would probably have to risk it, man. To be honest, you know, that shit just kind of, kind of sucks. Yeah. Huh. But, uh, yeah, so that's about it, guys. I'm going to go ahead and sign off.
It's your boy, Corey. It's your Rizzo with the brand new Sex 3 Specs. And I'm in sixth gear. <laughs> and, uh, yeah. Fuck. I always forget that this, this, uh, this lane doesn't activate. This sensor doesn't activate. It's always the left one or the right one. Watch, as soon as, as soon as I pull up, that's going to change yellow. Yep, told you. <laughs> oh, there's some cops over there. That's funny. <laughs> See ya, guys. This is it, man. It's the end of the vlog, and uh, I'll catch you, homies, later.